Make sure you have your permission level set for the folks who will be using it. You'll find the permission level by clicking on the permissions button on the dashboard and then finding the smart support which is under the admin slash smart underscore support drop down menu. Activate each permission level needed. So whether it's for a dispatcher or a CSR or support, those need to be checked. Second, you'll need a pair of earbuds or headphones with a mic using either a USB or 3.5 millimeter jack connector to use the Smart Support Dispatch Center. All right, let's jump into the Smart Support Dispatch Center. Now, look to the far right upper side of the window and you'll see a red icon with the headphones. Click on that. You'll see a new tab that opens up. You'll need to keep this tab open for as long as you're using the Smart Support Dispatch Center. At the top of the screen, you'll see a status drop down menu. Click on that, and that's where you'll make yourself available, or if you have multiple dispatchers, you can have some active and some not. The dashboard shows key metrics. Recent missed calls come in across the top of the four boxes on the left. These are incoming calls that dispatchers did not catch and may have gone directly to voicemail. If a call goes to voicemail, it gets sent to the email address used in the Smart Services window we used previously for setup. Recent calls are listed in the next box down. If there is customer information in Deliver Logic, it is listed under the customer's name. Clicking on the customer name will bring up their order history. You can also access their customer information when you place the phone call. The order number corresponds to an existing order and the number dialed is also listed along with the duration of the call. If there is a call recording, you can click on the circle dot and it will pull up a recording of the call instantly. The queue box shows calls in queue if you have multiple calls coming in at the same time, and the agents show who has access to the Smart Support Dispatch Center along the right-hand side. So, let's run through the various ways you can make an outgoing call. The first and most obvious way is to type the phone number in at the top of the window. When you do it that way, it pulls up the customers with that account. As the phone dials, if you reach a phone tree, you can click on the small checkered box to the left of the phone number to pull up a keypad to dial an extension. Click on the customer to bring up their order history. You can also click on the communication tab at the far right to see a history and any notes. You also have access to coupon codes if you need to make an immediate coupon for a customer. Customer communication can also be added on the third tab with drop down information to speed up the reason, the fix, and the customer response along with any notes. You can also start a new order from this screen using the new order button at the top right of the window. When an incoming call comes in, you have the same list of customer accounts and the choice to accept or ignore the call. Another way in which you can call the customer is by accessing the order through dispatch. You'll see that the phone number is highlighted in blue for both the customer and the restaurant when you open the order. Clicking on either of these numbers will initiate a call through the Smart Support Dispatch Center. For the customer phone number, it pulls up their record. If you're calling the restaurant, no record is opened unless you have an existing one in your customer user base. That's it for the Smart Support Dispatch Center. This is likely one of the more valuable tools to be released from Deliver Logic that will make your customer service and dispatch agents even more productive. In terms of cost, it's not likely any more expensive than your existing phone system, and in terms of productivity, it will increase your team's throughput substantially. One last part I want to show you is the reporting function. This is where you'll find previous recordings and a history of all the calls. You'll find this under your main dashboard under reports. You can see from this report all of the reporting functions plus call recordings which we use to monitor call quality, restaurant disputes, or customer confirmations. And that concludes the overview and basic training of the Smart Support Dispatch Center from DeliverLogic.